The National Spot Exchange, which serves as a platform for commodity trading, has suspended futures trading in most of its segments, with payments being deferred. This follows a clampdown by the regulatory authorities on the fact that a spot exchange was offering futures contract trading. As a result, the stock of financial technologies, which owns NSCL, is down as much as 60% in today's trade. Priyank is standing by with more details on what really happened and more importantly, the implications on this. Priyank. Well, Asha, when you talk about the entire timeline, let's, uh, let's try and understand what's very transpired when we talk about NSCL itself. Now, initially, it started off with a couple of concerns coming in regarding the stocking for a couple of the commodities, clarifications being issued in regarding that. And that's when the Ministry of Start taking, no uh, taking notice of the situation itself because the Consumer, uh, Consumer Affairs Ministry actually uh, asked NSCL to actually stop from issuing any more uh, co uh, new contracts. And that's when you had that clampdown actually taking place. Since then, it's been a downside as far as the company and the exchange is concerned because the recent order also which actually came in talks about the fact that they suspended trading. They're going to wait for the uncertainty to actually play out. They're going to wait for some more clarity. And only after that will they actually be taking place. Now, the problem here is not only to what's to be transparent in the last couple of weeks. The fact here is, it's, it's a jittering as that's actually coming along with this. For the simple reason, you have investors are in panic mode right now. It's not only limited to investors who are actually trading on that, but a lot of brokerages have used new exposure to this as well. You're talking about exposure between 200 to 250 or close to some of the top brokerages in the country today. That's piling on as well. And the fact is, the liquidity crunch and the cash crunch at the exchange could actually ripple in into a much bigger issue and that's why you've seen the stock uh, collapse as far as FTL which is the holding company because 50% of the profits from NSEL actually co uh, contribute to FTR's revenue. Uh, Priyank, hold the thought, you know, the stocks are tanking as we speak. More importantly, the ramifications of this on the equity markets is still very uncertain, unclear. Uh, we'll, let's uh, talk to a few people to understand what's going on. But first, let's listen into what the NSEL MD and CEO had to say to us earlier today on why the suspension happened and his own clarification. Uh, we have clarified the total stock positions and uh, the uh, capacity of the silos, the storage, warehouses. Everything has been clarified. Uh, now, the issue is not pertaining to that. Rather, the issue is that of uh, the uh, order what we got from government about uh, uh, not launching fresh contracts and also setting the existing contracts on the due date. So, based on that, the exchange submitted an undertaking and uh, uh, revise the uh, existing contract to T plus 10. But it's still, there is a lot of uh, ambiguity in the uh, minds of market participants whether these contracts are valid or with, whether the, um, uh, 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 there is no regulatory concerns relating to this contract. So a lot of people are not participating on the exchange because of that. And as a result, the uh, market equilibrium is disturbed uh, uh, what this uh, last uh, 15 days period. So, uh, it was thought in the interest of uh, all participants and the members' clients that uh, uh, we should not uh, continue trading right now in all these uh, uh, contracts, three percent other than this this contract. Firstly, we should settle uh, everything, all the exposures, all the operations, uh, uh, delivery and payment. And once that is done, thereafter, to resume trading as it is. So let's address each issue uh, one by one, Mr. Sinha. Let's talk out of the fact that in terms of what we actually picked up regarding the stocks of Casa Seed that actually initiated all this. And in a couple of releases that you have also actually been talking about in various media, you still say that there is a little bit of uncertainty. What is that uncertainty that you keep mentioning about in the releases? Uh, uncertainty is pertaining to uh, the uh, concerns expressed by the government and uh, for the sub, uh, undertaking submitted by us mm -hmm. and modification of the existing contract. Now, uh, if uh, uh, we get a suggestion that uh, the uh, uh, department doesn't have any issue relating to uh, running of this contract, so that will boost the confidence of all the market participants. Uh, today, uh, the members and the participants are feeling that uh, uh, the government has raised a concern so whether uh, uh, these uh, running contracts on the spot exchange will be uh, further uh, not allowed by uh, the department, and in that case, it will create a uh, problem to the settlement of these contracts. So, uh, uh, all of us are waiting for such a clarification. Once that comes, thereafter it will be possible to uh, resume trading in full trade manner with uh, complete confidence of all the participants. So now, what happens to existing contracts? You've suspended trading. What about their settlement? Uh, all the existing contracts will be settled uh, by use of delivery and payment. Only thing is that uh, for um, uh, uh, the uh, settlements that due over a period of next uh, 10-15 days, that will be merged and based on the 
net net delivery net payment so the contracts will be settled so by when can these contracts be settled uh, over a period of next 15 days this entire schedule is being worked out uh, for uh, delivery and payment and uh, it will be settled uh, based on the uh, uh, based on the option of the commodity based on the uh, uh, less money and in case of any difference we'll meet it out of the segment guarantee is there any kind of payment or liquidity crisis at the exchange No, exchange doesn't have any liquidity crisis. So exchange has uh, done all the segments uh, before yesterday, before announcement of this thing without any issue. But uh, going forward, uh, it is in the interest of public not to uh, have trading on a day-to-day basis. Rather, first to settle all the exposures, uh, wait for the clarification, and based on the new clarification or the new regulatory framework. Uh, that uh, uh, for the trading should resume but by uh, announcing the sudden suspension of trading haven't you increased the panic i mean the stocks the listed equity stocks are down almost 50% i'm talking about financial technologies uh, actually I, i can't comment on uh, 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 the equity uh, price movement uh, any question relating to national report i'll be able to answer that no that's fine but i'm trying to uh, understand why have you suspended uh, the trade the trade of all these contracts isn't that creating further panic within your own members uh actually there is no panic rather it is in, in the interest of all the members if they keep on trading and uh, there is any issue relating to uh, the regulatory validity of this contract then it can create a problem in future so therefore it is better uh, that once we get all the clarification then only we will trade it so mr sena let's talk about the next step from here because i mean looking at the kind of concerns that are prevalent on the uh, holding company here ftl stocks down around about 60% now it's totally been battered out clearly there are a couple of concerns here from nsc's point of view the next step mm-hmm. next step is that uh, 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 we will settle all the existing positions by way of delivery and payment mm-hmm. over a period of next uh, 15 days and uh, once it is done after that we will resume trading this is now also we had a couple of uh, other invites being sent out this morning regarding a press conference any details that were actually be supposed because what we understand the press conference actually been shelved right now anything that was actually stated for announcement Uh, no, actually, uh, uh, since morning we are speaking to press. We have issued the press release, mm-hmm. and uh, 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 lot of press persons have already interacted with us. So therefore, uh, today we are not having this press conference. Subsequently, once something new comes up, then uh, we'll go for press press conference. All right, that's the view coming in from the NSCL. This has caused quite a bit of confusion and ambiguity in the minds of of uh, market participants. He says, uh, but the markets have not taken it too kindly at all. It, there is, we have not had any word. from the fmc as well priyank is standing me priyank you been talking to quite a few market participants since morning what is the sense that you're getting uh, is it a question of a concern over the cash crunch or is it a concern over clarity of what the what the outcome of these contracts are where is the problem which is actually a mix of both because when we talk from the nsl point of view definitely there seems to be some concerns regarding as to how they're going to manage the cash situation going forward those who have been getting clarifications from the management out there but the other fa- part here is in terms of how the regulatory framework also actually pans out when we talk about nsl that really raise a couple of eyebrows and remember you have some of the top brokerages of the country actually being participants when we talk about nsl and hence you got that concern coming in market if they, if at all there is a connection or not is going to be difficult to actually prove but one thing's pretty evident the equity market in trade today have also become quite volatile is what we've actually seen some of the brokerage stock have also taken a little bit of a knock in today and a, uh, and some of these brokerage stocks actually are rather brokerage companies actually have a decent amount of exposure in terms of the trade value when we talk about nsc so definitely it's 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 been raising a couple of eyebrows a lot of people have actually taken notice and you can't miss a stock that's actually collapsed 60 60 to 70% in trade